Hello, everybody out there. Um, I'm going to do a little walkthrough of a little um, journal I made, um, garden themed, and I made it out of a vintage seed packet, and um, I just literally just got done with it and thought, you know, I'm just going to video a cute little um, flip through since this is going to somebody else, and um, for my own records, I like to keep usually keep pictures, but since I started doing some videos on YouTube, I just easy to make a a little walkthrough for it. So here we go. <clears throat> um, I have a seam binding closure. Like I said, this is an old vintage seed packet. I literally opened it up and made it the the cover i did line the cover inside to give it some some strength it's actually a bag that i put on there and i did put some i don't know if you can see there's a little bit of brown tape you can see back there that's just that brown packing tape just to give it some strength on the spine um since you know you're going to be opening and closing so what I did is I added a pocket here and um, you can see I folded in the flaps to the seed packet on the top but left the ones for the outside on here just to give it a little added interest and has a number, a cute little, cute little number down there and stuff. Um, I also, and I just made this up pocket you can put that in there and um, instead of taking off the wire on the shipping tab I just kind of wrapped it around instead of ribbon it just thought in a garden you know sorry my hands are asleep <clears throat> um, in a garden you would use wire and stuff to tack on um, climbing flowers or whatever <clears throat> sorry so I figured you know why not wire um, this actually is a little tuck spot. You could tuck something there. Um, I'll probably put a little piece of paper or something there so you know it's a tuck spot. I don't think I have one just sitting here. Put in there. But here's a little tuck spot on this side. And I've just used some crocheted doily and a little mustard colored fabric flower. This is a digital download that I purchased, um, and I don't think the name is on on it. Um, I will put it in the description. Um, I found it on Etsy. It's really cute, so I'll put the description there. Um, and it's gardening. It's all like gardening paper and old herb stuff. Um, this is the same paper shrunken down. I, I decided that doing them all this size was going to be too small, so I went ahead and actually did them like this. The, the normal size they'd print out, and I actually just ripped them, ripped them down, and it worked. Um, cute little sayings about gardens. Somebody gave me in a swap. Um... They were perfect in here. There's room to write, book page, belly band. This is a um, this is actually a um, sample of a invoice you could buy for forestry. I have this really cool book I found. It's super cute. It's a leaf. Leaf Axe Special Blank Forms and um, it's really cool. There are all these different forms and invoices and stuff. I mean that's a pretty thick book and it's about 6 by 4 by 6 is the size. So I mean it's really cool. I actually have 2 or 3 of these. I don't even know if I'll ever go through them. But that's where I found this cool, and it says line, species, and cruiser. So 
thought that was kind of cool maybe for gardening and then I just made a cute little bell of yarn right there out of some seam binding avocado dyed paper am I still in frame avocado dyed paper a little cluster tuck with this is actually out of a vintage garden book I'll use that um, more of the uh, paper download paper this paper here this book paper is actually from the other side of this it's from that garden book it is and I just folded it up made a little pocket this is part of a receipt on duplicate receipt I just tuck that in there sorry my hands are not working I tucked that in there with a little flower made a little cluster on the side you can write on the journal on the, the little paper on the back side I made another little tuck a couple little Tim Holtz in there um, I think it's or field called field notes or something in front of more of the download paper actually just glued those together so you'd have a front and back of course you could write scrapbook paper I had a little edging punch there again this is Tim Holtz just made a little tuck out of the butterfly paper clip with a ribbon on it tags more of that gardening paper it's really cute looks like a little advertisement and then I just stuck a little piece of leftover avocado paper right there avocado graph paper I love this paper because one side's graph and the other side's actually lined so you can write and if you saw on the side it's lined and then this side was the graph really cool paper um, I just did a little ruffle down there so you can actually use the whole page to write this one I just made a little pocket this is from the gardening download to get it open and it's an order sheet to a seed store it's really cute I'll just tuck that in there some more writing space and this is my middle um, I just put a doily there and made it a, a little tuck on each side and not pretty that little flower and stuff that's from the digital download too this is just a little tag I had and this is from the vintage garden book it's just kind of the definition of mint <laughs> Oh, and then I used, um, I just got this, um, I love, it's wild honey, distress oxide, and I used it throughout here. It's actually really cool. I didn't know if I'd like it or not, and I really like it. Um, it's just really cool. I have it, it's nicer and brighter than the brown. I did use some brown through here, but mostly the wild honey. Um, this is from... Ruby and Pearl XO. This is what it is. Her Polaroid shots. There's like three pages of Polaroid shots. So I just cut some out and tuck them in throughout here. This is another page from the vintage um, book that I have, gardening book, parsley, and I just made it a little little writing tablet. The other side of that pocket found some old stickers I had spelled out garden and then put stuff in here Let's see. there's this cool thing it has to do with figures with um, putting a, like rain rainbow blaze truck it's just got some cute little tidbits on it I think it's Tim Holtz and then the back side of that you can write on here's the front side of that little um, carbon like invoice 
and um, the other side of this is actually carbon so I glued some regular paper to the back side so when you pull things in and out of there um, you don't have carbon all over your stuff so you can add stuff to that pocket and I just wrote mint seed fennel seed <laughs> Back side of the digital download, the other side of that scrap of paper. I made a little pocket out of some vintage um, wallpaper that I was gifted in a snail mail. The little fabric lace applique cluster at top. Um, there's more of the vintage um, book from the garden book. This one actually is has sage on it um, and parsley and then I tucked in just one of those little portraits from Ruby X, um, Ruby and Pearl XL download. Um, made another little tuck. This piece from that vintage book. Tucked it in there. I just made a little cluster at the bottom. I stuck in this photo. <laughs> thought it was kind of cute. Um, I was trying to look for something that was um, a old gardening photo. Um, about the close look, I find it looks like they're building, maybe building a fence, and there's a tree, and you know, back here's an orchard. So I figured, you know, why not? And then I made a little pocket here with just some. Um, Lace, again tucked in another one of those little Polaroids and a bunch of little doodads that if somebody wants to add to the pages they can. Little extras. Um, back of the book page, more writing space, more that garden paper. This is just a, a a piece of doily I found that um, wasn't done. It should have been the other side. I'm sure it would have been a big something. But it was perfect. I thought it reminded me a little bit of the, you know, when you're a kid and you draw the sun. So it just reminded me of that. And then this is another one of those downloads. Um, Gardening Illustrated is what it says on it. I just tuck that in there. There's the back side and here's the other pocket, the back page, and I just stuck another piece of that old gardening book in there. And then that's the back side of the journal. And that is it. That's my little my little journal. Um thank you for watching. This was actually really fun to make. It didn't take very long. Um, I only have about 30 to 30 minutes to an hour in the mornings to craft. That's really all I have um, to craft. And um, I just love it. It's my outlet. Um, and I did this in, well, I would say two and a half days. But really, it probably took me... An hour and a half if you counted up how much time I actually actually spent on it it just flowed I love when it just flows and I just think it's so cute with all this sticking out I mean to me somebody who maybe back in the day had some sort of little garden journal I'm sure they would have so much stuff stuck in it notes and and seed packets and all different kind of things tucked in it so i thought okay well i'm obviously not making a big one making this little tiny thing this is not very big it is like four and a half this is only like four and a half by three this cover so i figured you know what i'm gonna let it all kind of hang out and i'm that's just something I I envision when I think of ladies gardening who kept journals on their gardening or kept books or anything. So 
I just thought it was really cute all hanging out. So I hope my partner does too. So um, this, I, this is, like I said, for a swap on Junkers Craft Co-op. Um, that is um, actually um, my, I started this group um, and we don't even, I shouldn't call it a group. We don't call it a group there. We call it a community. This is, it's not a group. So um, we are a community of crafters who are positive and uplifting. No drama is allowed. Um, if we have fun, fun, fun swaps and we do challenges um, because shipping can get um, really outrageous sometimes when you're swapping, um, when you're putting in stuff like this and, and extras and everything else, or you have an international partner, it can get costly. So we've actually even started monthly challenges where you make something that's in the challenge and you video it and share it. So you don't even have to swap. You can just make and share monthly. Um, we do snail mail express, which is what I call on it, call it on Wednesdays where you offer items for swap that would just fit in a regular envelope and mail for less than a dollar seventy. Um, and we have a great admin team. Um, I've got, I, I mean, some great admin teams. Um, I have Cheryl's Hansen, who she is my, my right hand, really. Um, she is a computer genius. Um, so she's got, she's on top of everything. Um, she's, uh, the enable, enabler secretary is what we call her. And then I have Cindy Hopwood and she is an admin and she's kind of my, I sh we call her the Terminator. She's, she's a very black and white person. I love her to death. And, um, so she is our no no tolerance policy girl and then I have on my team um, Debbie Johnson and Dorcas um, and um, Misty Sarah Wells um, I have quite a few people so it's a great group great ideas we do lives on Sundays um, with um, teaching some, anything that people want to see you're allowed to sell on the site on Thursdays, um, and you can also post what you're searching for. Um, the only thing we ask is no political, no drama. If you want to come over and have a great time, then just check us out on Facebook, Junkers Craft Co-op. All right, I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great day.